You have to be a die-hard runner to want to run in conditions like these. For Becca Pizzi, dodging packed snow, ice, and pedestrians isn't just about staying in shape. I'm training for my 42nd marathon, my 11th consecutive Boston Marathon. A tough slog any year, made even more difficult by the bone-chilling temperatures and near record amounts of snow in the Boston area this winter. Snow that's piled up everywhere. It's incredibly important that we can't see the cars, oncoming cars, and they can't see us. So we have to come to a complete stop and make sure that we see each other. With the Boston Marathon just seven weeks away, runners say their training regimen has been limited by the snowpack. Almost every run that I've been on for the last month and a half, I've seen somebody fall. Not only am I not able to run as fast as I want to in training, it's harder to just run the distances that I want to. Peter Horning has taken some of his routine indoors. I've had to do some of my runs on the inside on the treadmill, which I really hate doing. So why do these runners do it? It's all worth it in the end, and come April 20th, there is no place I'd rather be than running the Boston Marathon. It's the most historic marathon in the world. A marathon with an historic training season to match. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.